from around the globe. It's the Cube with digital coverage of IBM Think 2021. Brought to you by IBM. Welcome to the Cube's coverage of IBM Think 2021. I'm Lisa Martin. Exciting conversation coming up about vaccine cloud management. I've got two guests with me. Tim Elcott is here, the sales and delivery director of IBM services for Salesforce. And Fran Thompson joins us as well, the CIO of the health service executive in Ireland. Gentlemen, welcome to the program. Hi there, Hi, yeah. good to be here. So we're very socially distant, Northern California, UK. Glad to have you guys here. We're going to talk about what the health service executive or HSC in Ireland has done with IBM and Salesforce to facilitate vaccine management. But Fran, let's go ahead and start with you. Talk to us a little bit about HSC. So the, the HSC uh, provides public health and social uh, services to everyone living in Ireland, okay? Um, we that's acute hospitals, community services nationally. We directly employ about 80,000 people and we fund a, a further about, about 40,000 people. Um, and our annual budget is slightly north of 21.6 billion a year. We are the largest employer in the state and the largest organization in the state. Uh, and you know we provide a, a huge range of services right across the whole spectrum. And we also fund other organizations who provide those services as well. Um, so we would we we would fund uh, some voluntary and charity organisations, and we would also uh, 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 buy services from the likes of say GPs and other organisations as well. So talk to me about a, a year or so ago when the pandemic hit. What were some of the challenges that HSC faced, and then when it ca came time to, we have a vaccine, we have multiple vaccines that roll out pro um, capability. What were some of the challenges that you faced initially? So from a, an organizational perspective, um, there, are there were huge challenges in that um, we were like every other health service worldwide facing uh, a, an enormous pandemic that was impacting on people. And this is all about people. It's all about people's lives at the end of the day. People can talk about numbers and they can talk about costs and they can talk about other elements. But at the end of the day, this is about individuals, people's lives, their families and their communities. And for the HSC, our challenge was really about how do we manage to protect the totality of the population in Ireland as much as we can from, from the ravages of the virus. Um, and you know the initial challenge we had was around contact tracing and managing that before a vaccine uh, uh, became available. And once a vaccine became available, it was then how do we stand up a national vaccine solution that we would be able to deliver and record vaccine to the totality of the population who were getting a vaccine. Yeah, so there was no pre-existing vaccination program, of course, probably in most places, you needed to get healthcare workers vaccinated ASAP. And this also needed to be a national program. So what did you do yeah. next after determining, all right, we need to work with some partners to be able to build technology to facilitate uh, an equitable, efficient rollout of the vaccine? So we, we did have regional vaccine systems and we do have a number of vaccine programs out there that were, that were managing flu vaccine and, and hep C vaccine, but we needed, we, did, we didn't have a national program and we needed to vaccinate people immediately. Um, and we also wanted to make sure that vaccine program was not dependent on the HSE infrastructure because, you know, we wanted to be able to, to vaccinate people in non HSE sites and we wanted non-HSE staff to be able to vaccinate. Uh, and we didn't want a huge pre-dependence on our existing infrastructure. Um, so the first thing we did, we, we looked at a number of vendors um, and we chose IBM as our partner uh, with Salesforce. And that partnership is really a strategic partnership. And it's a partnership we, that, 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 that we work through all the bumps and all the lumps of the program together. Um, and, you know, and, and, there, and there have been challenges but 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 like it, it, it's through working with Tim and his team and through our team that we've overcome some of those challenges. Um, and like you know, we started off. I remember the very first conversation I had with Tim. As I said to Tim, look, we need to vaccinate healthcare workers now. Okay, and we've got two weeks to start, um, and we need to configure a system, get it up and running, and to be able to um, roll it out to the hospitals and to and, and very quickly then 
to all of our nursing care homes now. And that was the challenge. And let's bring Tim in, as this is a, a radically quick project from MPB to roll out in two weeks. Tim, talk to us about first about the IBM partnership with Salesforce and what you're building together. Absolutely, it's great. Um, and Fran, it's interesting to hear you speaking about the run into this, because from my perspective, a week before we all started this, we had a simple conversation called into the health service executive has some, they're talking about some vaccination program. How can we help? And then within a week, we've gone from zero to having how many calls with Fran and team just to understand and with the Salesforce team to really understand how the three, three parties can bring the best of IBM, the best of Salesforce and the best of HSC in terms of the adaptability and what we need to get done to get those vaccinations up and running for the healthcare workers now. You know, when Fran said to me, we need something in two weeks, there was absolutely clarity. If you can't do it in two weeks, you, there's the door, right? So we knew exactly the challenge and that's the kind of thing right before Christmas that we were so fortunate to really bring in the team. Like everyone, you think about this, everyone as of probably the 14th of December was thinking of winding down, thinking of having their Christmas holidays and the vacation time. And everybody from the, the Irish team and the, from the English team said, no, nope, we'll cancel Christmas, we'll cancel everything. So it's really Christmas came early and Christmas was canceled all at once. So, um, and the key bit here, the strategic partnership is IBM and Salesforce have been working together for years and years and years, growing out a partnership. We know their products really well. We've got huge capability in that space. But actually with the new health cloud part of it, the vaccine management parts are quite new to Salesforce as well, only launched back in sort of the August, September time. So it's quite new. So we had to go in together as a sort of a partnership there to say, to just get this done. So we had the best people from Salesforce who know the product, the best people from IBM, all turning up on the 14th of December and saying, right, we've got to get this done by the 29th with Christmas and Christmas holidays in the way and the vacation time in the way. I think we had 36 hours of time off to eat turkey and fill ourselves before getting back to the wheel and really getting this done. And to get, I think it was four acute hospitals we went into as of the 29th to start the vaccination program. So trying to do that understanding everything is a compromise at that point yeah but it has to be secure you know this this is this is personal data going into these systems so you can't forget about all the aspects it's got its minimum but minimum with those kind of constraints as a health system so it needs to be secure it needs to also be that national platform going forwards as well so basing it on a great platform like salesforce you know you can scale out you know you've got those options to grow in the future but yeah, not without a lot of challenge and then working out what's now, getting to know each other, like that we only talked about twice before, we ever <laughs> know each other pretty well now. Um, but just trying to work out how we then structure what's it ha gonna happen every two weeks afterwards? How's that gonna move forwards? We're going live every two weeks and we have done that now for the last three months. So good fun. So yeah, good fun and but so much work to get done and a co huge coordinated effort in a very short time period Absolutely. during a very challenging time. Talk to me a little bit about Fran, but you launched this um, cloud management, vaccine cloud management in January, 2021. And to date, I think you told me 1 million people have been vaccinated so far. Talk to me about what the IBM Salesforce solution enables you to deliver to the HSC and to the uh, Irish citizens. So, so we have delivered a million vaccines, okay, to, uh, you know, to in two stages. Uh, there's a dose one and a dose two for, for most people in Ireland. Um, and there's about 720,000 people who got their dose one and, and the balance have got, have got the dose two. That's about sort of just, uh, about one in five of the population that, that, has to be, that, that has to be vaccinated. And one of the things we we're very conscious of is that, you know, as an organization, like I said, we need to take a risk-based approach to this. So we need to look at the most vulnerable groups. There were, you know, lots of people who were dying from, you know, from this, and they were all the, a lot of people were elderly groups, and people who were who were vulnerable with with pre medical conditions. So our challenge was how do we how do we vaccinate those people quickly and effectively, uh, and also vaccinate healthcare workers who are going to care for these people, uh, and 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 that's what where we prioritise the work. So we had to go into 50 acute sites about 600 or so care homes. 
we set up a, a, a lot of what we call pop-up clinics, literally a tent in, the, in a location, or, or, or we took over a, 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 a sports hall or whatever we did. We rolled it out to the GPs, to about 2,500 GP sites. Um, and all of that was being done while we were building the system. So we were you know, building the system and designing the system on two week sprints. We had to be agile, we had to be quick, we had to make huge compromises, and we know that, okay? I mean, everyone wants a perfect system, um, which is to make the compromise and look and say, what do you need to do now to keep the program running and, and how you manage that? We had you know, t- uh, about 3,000 users, all to be set up fairly quickly, or okay? a little over, about 3,500 users. So you, know, you have to manage all that as you're going through everything. I think Agile is, is the name of the game here. Tim, talk to us about how you're delivering the agility in such a tenuous time. Well, we're all virtual, which has added to the mix. But the funny thing with that agility, we've got a span of people across all the countries and everywhere that we can bring to that that party. And you know, we're running a norm, what I would call a normal Agile project, except normally it would take two, three months to really get that team working effectively, getting to know each other. And we've just not had time to that to do that. So there's been a core team here and we're bringing in the experts around it. But really just everything is working with Fran, work very hand in glove, trying just to work out what we need to do here to look at the next sprint, to look at the next go live, to look at the compromise. How do we compromise for two weeks? What can we live with for two weeks? What's in the backlog for now? And Fran and I have many conversations. What do we need to do this week? And then what's next week? And that's the level of fluidity. And that's in part because of the way the pandemics and the response to the pandemic is, is mapping out. As we saw, the vaccines are changing, availability is changing, the rollout plan is changing. None of us have worked through a pandemic before. So agility is the name of the game at the, the highest level. I, I think we're all now very used to being, sorry, there's a problem, something's changed. Can we adapt the system too? You know, where normally in a sprint, I'd be thinking I've got some fixed requirements for two weeks. I'll build that and then do the next two weeks. Everything is up for grabs and we're just having to maintain quality at the pace, the responsiveness and balancing it all as an IBM team. And you think, and whilst we're also doing that on a platform that it takes time to configure and build these things as well. So it's some of it is you're going to have to wait a few days. So, sorry, you know, and a few days is really the, probably sometimes the maximum amount of time that can be you can defer. But as Fran and everyone in the HSE and the, the National Immunization Office, everyone's pragmatic about realizing we're all in this together. And it's really just being one single team, one unit working out and very open and transparent about the art of the possible. And uh, we're we, doing we, we, something. Uh, Oh, go ahead, Brent. We had a phrase there. With, 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 like there was a there were pieces we just had to just do it now, and and, and we did a lot of that. Okay, um, you know where where there were things that were prioritised. Was, we were in the middle of a sprint. Um, there were there were changes in the program, or there were changes in how how, how the vaccination was going to be delivered, um, and we couldn't wait the week. Just just it wasn't available. So we had this thing of we just got to do it now. And him and the team, you know, dropped what they were doing. You know, made the changes. We tested them fast, and we put them in, and and that gave us then, you know, an extra time to actually then deliver the rest of the sprint. And we had to do that several occasions, okay, several very very late nights to deliver. And I imagine that's still going on. But to wrap here, guys, an amazing work that you've done together so far with the Salesforce Vaccine Cloud Management, rolling out across the HSC. You said one million vaccinations delivered many hundreds of thousands in the queue. I'm sure more iterative work and sleepless nights, but what you're doing for the country of Ireland is literally, as Fran said in the beginning, life-saving. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me today on the program. You're welcome, thank you. You're very welcome, thank you. For Tim and Fran, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching theCUBE's coverage of IBM Think 2021.